Okay guys, now we are ready to find out the source of the mysterious ticking noise. Let's pick that lock. Alright, let's do it. Let's begin. Oh, hang on a second. I think I may still have it on double speed, which is definitely not going to make this easier. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. Yes! It didn't help all that much, but it definitely helped enough. Oh god. Oh god, he's touching himself. Ew, and it's a gross ginger. Ew. He loves a girl who never washes. That's disgusting. You can see his penis. I'm gonna... Censorship. Yeah, you were touching it. You were touching it. I saw you. Are you a terrorist? God, you're retarded. I'm just lonely. Girls say I smell apart from Nikki. <laughs> Spy on her through a hole in the wall and wank. That's clearly how you get all the women. Yeah, you guys clearly don't understand anything about ladies. They, they love, they love being spied on and winked too. Nope, nope, don't pull your pants, don't even bother. Don't even bother, we're all friends here. Whatever. We can't see anything. We don't need a peephole. I think this is a number combination right here, so... One, one, four, seven, oh, nope, seven, two. Is that not it? One, seven, four, two. My bad. Second time, you guys. One, seven, Four, two. Yay, we got a card! Smoky. Only you can prevent forest fires. Guinea pig was owned by the script writer and was a big pig. Six of ten, four of ten, ten of ten. Special move, big pig. Okay, so I guess that's it for that mission. Now what? Can we do anything fun? No? I guess everybody's gone to bed. Let's put it back on double time. I feel so slow. Let's get footprints too. Footprints will be cool. Do we have any more outfits? Not really. The other outfits aren't that good so far. <laughs> Look at my feet. Tracking mud everywhere. Anyway. What is this? Why can't I get through the door? What? Is there a wall here? Anyway, had a little problem. This door is locked for some reason, so I guess we'll go around this way. Do some more exploring. There's like a question mark room on there. I'm wondering what that's all about. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I guess everyone else is asleep. Leaving mud everywhere. Tracking mud cause we don't care about the mud and the floor. What? Why is it locked? Oh, it's the girls' dorms. Okay. I get it. I get it. 
Wait, what's up there? I can't break into the girls' dormitories. Oh, it's just a laundry room. Never mind. That's why he was wanking, because he can't get there and creep directly over them. Of course, of course. This is why. Well, I guess we'll go to sleep. And... Go to bed. Ready for day five. Oh, there's an assembly. Whoop. Children, I have some more news. Annabelle went missing from the school last night. I did wonder at first whether she'd run off with Xerxes. But then one of the teachers assured me that she wouldn't have pissed on Xerxes if he was on fire. That's harsh. That's cold. If anyone knows where these two have gone, let me know. But don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of it. There's no need to panic or even call the police, for that matter. Just please stop disappearing. That's extremely bad for business. You're a terrible person, Mr. Headmaster Principal Guy. They're upset that she's disappeared. Because they were planning the party, and now she's not there. Hmm. Well, looks like there's another mission for us up here. Hello, sir. Mr. Ross. Oh, good. Lily didn't clean, throw up again. I suppose. I could be persuaded to track mud all over the janitor's floor. Mr. Stovers knows something. Why are you telling me this? He wants me to break into the safe in Mr. Stover's office, the principal dude. I do want to. I do. Ding! I got a key. Ew. I know how to break into safes. Darkness. Here we go. Let's get up in here. Why does it look familiar? Because it's been in here before, or what? I want to know still what this is about. I'm going to look that up later, probably. Safe time. Crack the safe. Oh, here we go. Sixty, fifteen, forty-five. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Fast, 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 fast! Yes, piece of cake. In the event of my death, I donate all my possessions to that lovely pocket-sized beauty that I love so dearly. Hammy the school hamster. Hammy. As for my wife and children, I leave nothing. I'm not quite sure why I married you, Jill. I'm even less sure why we had the children. And despite meeting you in your mid-twenties, in my eyes you'll always be an annoying old bitch. I wish ill health and suffering upon you all. Angry face. But in retrospect... The true love of my life has been Hammy Arrowheart. I may have only known her for eight and a half months, but she brings more joy to my life than anyone else I know. Hamster love. If only she were a woman. So. 
Mr. Stouffer likes hamsters. Luckily that animal is way too small for anything nasty. Or is it? Um, until next time. Bye-zy-bye-zy. See you around.